Hey, 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 Violet, love, I need to use the, the computer. I'm doing my video early today. What? I'm doing my video early. I said I'm doing my video early I today. heard you! Can I, have, can I have the computer, please? Fine. Hello everybody and welcome to another of your weekly installments from me, Martin. I am a Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for jo joining me again this week. Uh, this week we have an awful lot of bug fixes that I want to tell you about. And um, yeah, let's let's get right, in, right into it. Uh, first of all, as always, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of the sponsors on Patreon that helped me to program Inkscape, right? I would not be able to spend the time that I do on Inkscape if it wasn't for the support that I'm getting from everyday Inkscape users all over the world. So thank you so much. Um, let's start off with a number of issues in the labels code. Last week, I showed you some of the fixes that I did with trailing pixels. The UX team, Adam, was uh, critical of the alignment of the text so I had to revisit the code and uh, rewrote a lot of it. And the reason for that is it's to do with the way that the text is drawn in these labels. Um, but the good news is, is that it's much better code now and it should be able to balance and center and properly uh, um, put this text in the correct place, uh, which is great. Also, the code makes a lot more sense now because before it used variable names and I was like, what, do, what is this even doing? Um, I cleaned up a... Named view element problem. Uh, this is basically corrupt SVGs that would crash Inkscape if you tried to open them. That's fixed. I fixed various packaging issues with the new uh, graphical user in in interface for Python. This allows uh, the extension manager and the clipart Im importer to work. Uh, Linux ones, I believe, and oh, in Windows. Uh, I fix a scaling in live path. So when you, whenever you use the button that said copy the path into the into the live path effect that you're currently doing, the scaling was all wrong. I was using the clip clipboard in the wrong way. Um, I fixed an issue with the the welcome screen. It was clobbering your customized theme preferences. So if you were one of the people that kept the welcome stream screen open, every time you uh, started Inkscape, it would reset, for instance, your icons settings, which is wrong. Uh, I fixed, fixed the translation of the snap la labels. Um, I fixed opening certain PDF files. The trans translation of the second and third pages were completely wrong. Um, I fixed a PDF output issue where it was outputting hidden layers. So if you had a hidden layer, it would still output that con content. That's fixed. I fixed a cloned mar mar markers. So if you had cloned a line with a mar marker in it, the output had the wrong color. That's been fixed in, in PDF, I should say. Uh, I fixed a Windows bug where it had a, where if you were trying to use like um, non ASCII characters in the fold folder name, it would completely fail. Uh, that has been fixed. Um, I fixed a glitch in the uh, paste. Uh, essentially, when you try and paste an, a live path effect and the nodes didn't update cor correctly. Um, I fixed users not, not being able to export to J, JPEG and other things. We weren't properly loading extensions if you didn't call the preferences. So anytime, do you remember that feature that I added where you could just ignore the preferences? Um, that had a knock-on effect if essentially it was expecting you to call the preferences. So it no longer expects that. Uh, I fixed a data loss where if you hid a, a text block and then saved as SVG, your text would be destroyed uh, bad bug. Um, I stopped Inkscape from leaking your folder information, so now it stores all the export file names as relative paths to the saved document. This should stop it from essentially leaking. It's been leaking for years and years and years. Uh, that's been on my list for a while to fix. Um, I added a multi-page context menu, and the reason for this is because when you right-click on um, the, when you right-click on a page when you, you're on the Pages tool, you'd expect for the right-click menu to be contextually sensitive to the fact that you're using the Pages tool. 
but uh, it wasn't. And so all of those actions that you could do, like copy, cut, duplicate, that was to do with the selected objects, not the page. And that confused users. So I've um, made a new men menu. Unfortunately, it doesn't have duplicate. Some people were quite interested in the idea of duplicating pages, but that's going to have to wait until the next version of Inkscape, unfortunately. Um, so as you can tell, I, I got up to a lot of bug fixing this this week. I did some investigation in some, into some other bugs as well, but I, I'm not going to talk about them until I actually fix them. Um, so let's get into all of the features and fixes that um, I didn't fix. So it's been a quiet week in Inkscape land. Uh, Mike Hov, he removed some space spaces in la labels and did some translation fixes. Shashant uh, added a f focus mode back into Inkscape. It was a feature that was accidentally removed. Um, Nathan Lee fixed the text cursor, became invisible sometimes when the stroke opacity was unset. And he added ellipses back into the filter and the extensions menu. PBS uh, has fixed the filter, the uh, sorry, he's fixed the overlay, overlay mode. That's it, so the overlay mode. And um, he's also been doing a lot of work on his OpenGL branch, but it won't make it into Inkscape 1.2. 1, 1 um, it's too risky to add in a, a sort of experimental OpenGL branch, and we have no clue like what knock-on effects it would have. Um, so we're going to play it safe. We're going to move that off to Inkscape 1.3. Um, but having said, said that, his existing work has already made Inkscape fa faster. Uh, people who are using the developer version are already saying that it's faster, especially on Mac. Um, but that's it. That you, there's not that many modifications this week. I think everybody's ta taking a bit of a break, um, which is cool. It's the spring, the spring time. The weather's getting good. So uh, that's all. Thank you very much for, for, for joining me this week, and uh, I'll see you all next week.